hey welcome to my channel my name is tashina in today's video we are gonna roast these breadfruits so remember if you're not subscribed subscribe like share and comment on this video all right so these are my breadfruits and i wanted to roast them outside but unfortunately the weather is quite rainy here in jamaica no so and it's been raining on and off couple of days now so i can't chance uh, going outside to do it because i don't want the rain to fall and wet them so of course i have resorted to using the oven at this point in time my oven is being preheated i'm just showing you my breadfruit i'm gonna be roasting them so now i'm gonna be preparing them to put in the oven i only have one with the stem that's currently in I only have one with this thing that's currently in and I'm going to ask basically dig it out right and then I'm going to create markings on each of these and then put them in the oven so you'll see when they're in the oven all right so now I'm going to take this out so you go down you try to create parts down so you can dig it out yeah all right so you try to dig it out as much as you can somebody else might have another method for getting this out but this is how i get it out um so i'm just showing you so there you have it i got mine out all right so i'm gonna be slicing these and the purpose for slicing these like this is so when it's baked or when it's roast you actually know because in the opening it's gonna be wide wide all right so that's what we are doing so each time you go in the oven to say you're checking during the duration of baking it you can put a knife through these openings and based on what comes off on the knife you'll know that you know it's ready or so all right so in terms of the duration of time you just keep checking them to see if they have already if they have already been roast by inputting here to see if it come off on the knife very clean you know if it come off wetty wetty or a little moist it still can be roasted a little longer all right so let's see how long we're gonna take to roast these in the oven this one have a little blemish so i'm not sure how deep it goes but when it's roasted i'll also show you how i prepare them to store them so these are they yes all four all right all right so now ooh, the oven is preheated so now i'm going to put them in start putting them in my oven all right right to the center and in here is hot so I imagine the heat is heating in here. I ain't gonna lie. <sighs> it's hot, man. All right, the last one now. So I'll see if I can space the motor a bit. Because I want when I am going in there to get them, I can go and pick. All right. Mm -hmm. Alright, progress. You see how wide it is? Progress. 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 And you see that one frothing up all the water outside. So these are almost ready. I'm going to insert now the Alright, let's test this one. Ooh, you see it come out clean? Yes, it means that it's ready like a friday see come on pretty clean 
Let's try this one too. Ooh, yeah, they are getting there. All right, that one lady, we don't miss a word. Let's see if we can try it. All right, let's see if we can reach that one. Guess what? They are roast. All right. I finally took them out of the oven because I had left them there for the E to penetrate them a bit more. And I took them out and they're here. Here I just cut the breadfruit in half and I'm about to cut the half in half and peel it. Like you see, I'm using up the surface. You can decide to use the surface of your sink as well or you can use a cutting board. It's your choice. Now I've cut out the heart of the breadfruit and I'm cutting a little deeper until all the the parts to link into the heart have been removed and I know I'm peeling. So whatever blemishes you're seeing, I will go ahead and remove as well. Yes. So the breadfruit is still warm. I definitely prefer to peel it like this because it's easier to peel. And I think it's just better, right? Because... It's a little harder when it gets cool. Why not peel it and put it down, right? So I'm going to remove this dark spot that you're seeing. Like I mentioned, whatever blemishes that are there, I'll try to remove as much as possible suiting to my liking. There you go. I'm trying to dig it out of the breadfruit. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm slicing my breadfruit. You can decide however you want to store yours i slice them just like how i would want to eat them so whenever i take them out of the freezer they're already sliced so it's just for them to defrost and then i go ahead and fry them that's how i prepare them all right so i'm still here cutting and peeling I peel them and put them in my container because I allow them to cool from there. Because like I mentioned, my storage container will be the plastic bags and those are like five pounds or two pound bags. Yes, that I have. That's what I'll be storing them with. If you have Ziploc bags, you can make use of those or whatever storage containers you prefer to use. So I just go ahead, peel and put them right in that clean pan. Right. And like I mentioned, if you have your cutting board, you can definitely use your cutting board if you're most comfortable doing that instead of cutting using your hand. You know, because you still want to ensure you're being very careful with the knife. Right here, you're seeing a little darkness, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit deeper in the breadfruit to remove that part as well. You know, whatever remains from the heart of the breadfruit, I am removing because, of course, that can't be eaten or it shouldn't be. <laughs> but I'm almost finished, as you can see, with the first breadfruit, and I have three more to go. But like I said, I'm showing you how I peel using one, all right? And then afterwards, I come with the finish product, finish peeling. Here, I'm showing you how thick I cut my breadfruit. I mean, it's entirely up to you how you want to cut them, however thick or thin. 
and there you have it that's where i place them for them to cool until i'm ready to put them in their plastic bags and put them in the freezer I have completely peeled all the breadfruits now. Well, in this container, it's not all four breadfruits. It's like possibly three and a half, I believe, because I have separated some for breakfast. Now they're cooling here and you see my, my plastic bags. Those are my storage containers that I will be using. I find it very convenient as they take very little space in the freezer. So I'm giving them some time to cool. And then I'll place them in the bags. That's an up close look. I love the color. It's yellow art breadfruit. One of my favorite. Packaged and ready to go right in the freezer. Yes, they are. So thanks for watching again. If you like videos like these, subscribe and stay tuned.